Welcome to the channel. I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to trade on the Bybit spot market using the mobile app. So this video is simply for folks that just want to buy and sell some cryptocurrency. If you're looking to trade derivatives on Bybit, I do have a separate tutorial for that. And I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. I'll also point out that I have a playlist on my YouTube channel filled with Bybit tutorials. So when you get some time, feel free to check those out as well. In this video, I'm going to show you where to go if you need to buy crypto using fiat. I'll show you how to deposit crypto from another platform into Bybit. From there, I'll cover the pairings and get you familiar with the user interface, where I'll show you how to buy and sell crypto using limit orders, market orders, and how to set up a stop loss. All of that and more with some tips and tricks along the way. If you do trade derivatives and this is your first time signing up on Bybit, I left a link for you in the description of this video, as well as in the pinned comment down below. If you use that link when signing up, you can receive up to $30,000 as a sign up bonus. And that'll depend on how much you deposit onto the platform. For full disclosure, I will get a kickback for that at no extra cost to you. So thank you in advance if you choose to use that link. I'll also mention that this is not a sponsored video and this video is not financial advice. This video is intended for educational purposes only. I also left you some timestamps in the description down below. So at any point, feel free to skip ahead to a section that might be most relevant to you. If you end up getting some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. If you already have a Bybit account, you can sign into Bybit and on the homepage, you'll find a QR code right here. You can scan that QR code to download the app. You can also find it by coming up here to the top right hand side of the screen, hover over this icon here and then scan that QR code to download the app. You can also find it over here on the Google Play Store and you can get the app off the Apple App Store as well. If you haven't created a Bybit account just yet, you can download the app and you can create an account using the app itself. So if you need to get signed up to Bybit, now is a good time to pause this video and then get signed up and I'll see you inside the app. Once you sign up and sign into Bybit, you'll arrive right here on the home page. So the first thing I'll quickly show you how to do is where to go if you want to buy crypto using fiat. To do that, we'll tap right here where it says buy crypto. Then we'll get a little pop-up window at the bottom of the screen where we can choose a payment method. You have fiat deposit, P2P trading, and one-click buy. Now, depending on where you're located in the world, some of these payment methods might be unavailable to you. And this just comes down to government regulation. Different governments around the world are gonna have different regulations. For this tutorial, I'll keep it simple and just tap on the one-click buy option. This brings us over to the order form where we can purchase some crypto using fiat. Up at the top, we can see the various different cryptocurrencies that we can buy using fiat and simply tap on the crypto that you wish to purchase. I'm currently set to Tether and that works perfectly fine for me. So what we'll do is we'll type in the amount we wish to spend on crypto, then tap on next. That'll bring us over to this page here and we can see that Bybit is recommending I use a bank card. So a Visa debit or a credit card. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on buy and this will bring us over to a form where we need to put in our card details. And once we've done that, we'll also need to agree to the terms and services. So certainly give those a read through. And if you agree, you tap on agree and then tap on continue to proceed to verify your card. Once your card is verified, you can complete your transaction. So now I'll show you where to find your crypto once you've made your purchase. So I'm going to tap on back at the top of the screen, tap on back again. Now I'm going to tap on back at the bottom of the screen and get us back to the home page. Once you've purchased some crypto, you can find it by tapping on assets at the bottom right hand side of your screen. This will bring you into an overview of all your accounts. So you can see under my accounts, you have your funding account, spot account, derivatives, and USDC. If you buy crypto using fiat, they'll be in your spot account. So just tap where it says spot and down below is where you'll find your crypto that you purchased using fiat. If you need to search for it, just tap right here where it says search, then type in the name of the cryptocurrency and it should come up there. So now I'll show you how to deposit some crypto. So I'm going to tap on back and get us back to the home page by tapping on home bottom left hand side of the screen. When it comes to purchasing cryptocurrency, I never use a credit card. I find the fees to be way too high and you're adding an extra layer of risk. What I normally do is I buy through a different platform where the fees are a lot less and then I just send the coins into Bybit from there. So I'll show you how to deposit some crypto from another platform or wallet address. What you need to do is just tap right here where it says deposit. Then you're going to come over to a page where you can select a crypto you wish to deposit from a list right here. You'll also see a recommended section up at the top and you can also search for a crypto by tapping on the search bar. Then just type in the name of the cryptocurrency that you wish to deposit. I'll go ahead and demonstrate with Ethereum, which I can see in the recommended section next to Bitcoin. So I'm going to tap on ETH 
Then you'll come to a page where you'll be able to see your QR code as well as your deposit address, which is located just below your QR code. So if you're sending in from another smartphone, you can scan that QR code or you can copy your deposit address down below by tapping on the copy button. The first thing you want to do is choose a network. You can see in my case right here, I'm set to Arbitrum 1 and that is a great network. But if you want to switch the network, just tap where it says Arbitrum 1 and select the network from this menu right here. The big thing is, is you want to make sure that the network matches on both sides of this transaction. If you send from one network into another network, you do run the risk of losing your coins. So in my case here, I'm just going to stick to the Arbitrum 1 network. Down below, you'll see here where it says auto transfer funds to, and in this case, we're set to spot account, which works perfectly fine for this tutorial because I'm just simply covering the spot market in this video. But if you were to tap where it says spot market, you can see that you can have the coins go straight to your funding account or to your derivatives account. But I'm just going to go ahead and tap on cancel. So in order to do this, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap where it says copy and I'll go ahead and send some Ethereum into Bybit from another exchange. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull up my Coinbase account like so. I'm going to tap on send. I'll choose Ethereum. I'm going to paste my Bybit deposit address into the address box right here and then tap on continue. Now you'll notice right here it says network and it's set to Ethereum. So this is currently on the ERC20 network. So I'm going to have to change that to Arbitrum. So what I'll do is I'll tap on the network. Then I'm going to tap where it says Arbitrum. Now the network matches on both sides of this transaction. I'm getting a warning here letting me know that I could lose my coins if I don't have this right. But I got it right so I'm going to go ahead and tap on I understand. Now what I'll do is I'll just quickly send say $25 worth of Ethereum over to Bybit from Coinbase. I'm going to tap on preview. And I'm going to tap on send now. I'm going to have to put in my Google two-factor authentication and then the coins will be on the way. And success! I've successfully sent some Ethereum from Coinbase into Bybit. So let's go ahead and get back to Bybit here just like so. And the Arbitrum 1 network is pretty quick so I'll probably get that Ethereum in short order here. So I'm going to go ahead and head back to the home page by tapping on the back button here. Now we're back to the home page. And my deposit has already been confirmed. So to find those coins, what we'll do is we'll tap on assets, bottom right hand side of the screen. And then of course, we're going to tap on our spot account, which is right here. So tap on spot. And if we come down, here's where you can see the Ethereum that I just sent in. And I did have a little bit of Ethereum in here already. So now that we've deposited some funds onto Bybit, I'll show you how to access the spot market. So let's go ahead and tap on back. And we'll tap on the home button, bottom left hand side of the screen. Now we're back to the home page. Now I'll show you how to get to the spot market. To do that, tap on markets next to the home button at the bottom of the screen. On this page here at the very top, just make sure you're set to spot. You'll notice if I tap on derivatives, now I'm toggled over to the derivatives. And if I tap on favorites, now I'm toggled over to favorites. So just be sure that you're set to spot. Right here, you'll see all the different pairings that are available to trade on Bybit. And above the pairings, you'll see the different market types. So in my case, I'm set to USDT. So all these pairings displayed down below are quoted in Tether. If I sold a coin using these pairings, I'd receive Tether for the sale. And if I want to buy a coin using these pairings, I'd need Tether to make the purchase. If I was to tap on USDC, now all the pairings displayed down below are quoted in USDC. So if I sold a coin using these pairings, I'd get USDC for the sale. And if I want to buy a coin using these pairings, I'd need USDC to make the purchase. Simply tap on the market type and then the pairing that you wish to trade. So I'll tap on USDT and now I'll tap on Ethereum. And that'll bring you over to the charts and the user interface here. So the first thing you'll be seeing here is your price action chart showing you the assets performance over a selected time frame. At the top of the chart is where you'll find your different time frames. And in my case, you can see that I'm currently set to a daily. So each one of these candlesticks represents one day of time. If you want to change the time frame, just simply tap on the time frame you wish to view. So if I'm on a four hour, I'd type, I'd tap on four hour. Now each one of these candlesticks represents four hours of time. If you want to find additional time frames, tap right here where it says more and you'll get a drop down menu with additional time frames. So I'll just go ahead and switch this to a daily here, just like so. Down below the chart, you can find some indicators that you can add and subtract from the chart. So for example, if I want a MACD, I would tap on MACD. And as you can see, I just added the MACD to the bottom of the chart. If I want to get rid of the MACD, I'll just tap on MACD. And as you can see, I removed it as simple as that.
If we scroll a little bit further, here's where we'll find the order book. And the order book is showing us where market participants have placed their buy and sell orders. On the left-hand side in green is what's known as the bids. These are the price points that market participants have placed their buy orders by using a limit order. On the right-hand side in red, we have what's known as the asks. These are the price points that market participants have placed their sell orders by using limit orders. And I'll be covering order types in this tutorial. When a trader comes along and executes a market order, they're matched up at the best available price from the order book and the trade is executed immediately. If we swipe left on the order book, here's where we can find the recent trades panel. And this is showing us trades being executed in real time. All the buys come in in green and all the sells come in in red. In the price column, we can see the price point that the successful trade was executed at. And in the quantity column, we can see the size of the trade that went through at that price point. So I'm just going to go ahead and swipe up right here. And now we're back to the order book. At the bottom of the page here, we can find our buy and sell buttons. And I'll go ahead and just demonstrate by being a buyer first. So I'm going to tap on buy. And that brings us over to the order form. We can see the order form on the left-hand side, and we can also see our order book here on the right-hand side. That price in the middle of the order book is what's known as the mid price. And this is the price point that the asset is currently trading at. You can toggle between different order types if you tap right here where it says limit. And you can use market orders if you want to. Now I can tap on market again. We can set a take profit or a stop loss. And if we tap that again, we can also set up conditional orders. And I'll demonstrate a few of these. So let's go ahead and start with a limit order. I'm going to tap on conditional, tap on limit, and now I'll show you how to place a limit order. A limit order allows you to choose a price point to be a buyer or a seller of an asset, but you do need the price of the asset to reach your limit price before your order fills and executes. For example, we can see right here that Ethereum's currently trading at 1,852. Let's imagine that I want to be a buyer of Ethereum if the price of Ethereum comes down to 1,800. To do that, we'll tap on this box right underneath limit and I'll type that in. So we'll go 1,800 just like so. Next, we need to choose the size of this order. So if we want to choose an amount of the asset that we're interested in purchasing, we could tap right here and we could put in a custom amount. So I could do something like this if I choose. Another option is to choose the amount that we wish to put into this order of our available balance. To do that, we tap right here where it says order value. And right at the top of the order form is where we can see our available balance. So we'll know exactly what we're working with. So in my case here, I could choose to put 10 tether into this order like so. And the third option is just to simply use this slider bar right here. So if I slid this up to 50%, that means I'll be putting 50% of my available balance into this order. Once you have this order set up the way that you want it, you just simply tap where it says buy. Then you'll get an order confirmation pop-up window here. So confirm the details of your order. Make sure it's what you intended before you tap on buy down below. So in my case here, we can see my order price of 1800 as intended. We can see the quantity of the asset that I'll be buying if that price point gets hit. And then we can see the value of that order just below that. If everything checks out the way that you want it, tap on buy. Now I've successfully placed that order onto the order book and we can see that order down below underneath our orders. Now this order will stay on the order book until it either fills or we cancel it. So if at any point you want to cancel this order, you'd come down to your orders and you'd tap on cancel next to the order you wish to cancel, just like so. Now, as you can see, I just removed that order off of the order book. Of course, we can use limit orders to sell crypto as well. So we'd come up to the top of the order form and we'd toggle from buy and we'd tap on sell. So first we need to choose a price point that we wish to sell at. So in this case here, we see Ethereum trading at 1,852. Let's imagine that I want to be a seller if the price of Ethereum comes up to 2,100. I'll tap on this box underneath limit and I'll type that in. So 2,100 just like so. And what I'll do is I'll just use this slider bar and I'll just imagine that I want to sell all of my Ethereum if that price point gets hit. Then down below, tap where it says sell ETH. Confirm the details of this order are what you intended. If everything checks out, tap on sell ETH. And as you can see, I just placed that limit order to sell my Ethereum. So if the price of Ethereum comes up to 2,100, this order will fill and execute. If we want to cancel that order, we'd come down to our orders, tap on cancel next to the order you want to cancel, just like so. And as you can see, I just canceled my limit order to sell Ethereum. As easy as that. Let's head back to our charts by tapping on charts at the top of our screen here. If at any point you want to change the pairing that you're trading, you can tap right here where it says ETH versus USDT and then select a different pairing from this menu right here. Now I'll show you how to place a market order. 
Market orders are really easy to place. These order types are going to execute immediately at the best available price from the order book. So I'll demonstrate first by being a buyer. So I'll tap on buy down below. And that brings us back over to the order form. Now I'll go ahead and tap where it says limit, then tap where it says market. And all we need to do here is choose how much we wish to spend on the asset. So I'll just go ahead and slide this up to 45%. And then when you have the order set the way that you want it, just tap on buy. Then you'll get your order confirmation pop-up window here. So confirm the details are what you intended and then tap on buy down below. And this order filled immediately at the best available price from the order book. If we want to use a market order to sell, we just tap on the sell button next to buy, choose the amount that we wish to sell. I'll just go ahead and do 45% again, then tap on the sell button down below, confirm the details and then tap on sell. And that order filled immediately at the best available price from the order book. As easy as that. Now I'll go ahead and get back to the charts by tapping on charts top left hand side of the screen. Now I'll show you how to set up a stop loss. So to do that, we'll tap on sell at the bottom right hand side of the screen. Then we're going to tap right here where it says limit, then tap where it says TPSL. So there's two ways to do this. We can do a stop limit order and we can do a stop market order. A stop market order is easier to set up. So I'll demonstrate that in this tutorial. I'm going to make a separate video for stop limit orders. So watch out for that coming up on my YouTube channel sometime in the near future here. So what we'll do is we'll come down and tap where it says limit, then tap on market. Now we need to choose a price point that we wish to set our stop loss at. So we can see here in the mid price of the order book that Ethereum is currently trading at 1,853. And let's just imagine that I want to set a stop loss at 1,750. What I would do is tap this box right here and I would type that in 1,750. This is going to be the trigger price that tells Bybit to sell our coins. So the next thing we need to do is we need to come down here and choose the amount of the asset we wish to sell if our trigger price gets hit. So for this demonstration, I'll just slide this up to max. And when you have this order set up the way that you want it, you tap right here on sell. Then you'll get an order confirmation window here. So we can see my trigger price of 1,750. So if the price of Ethereum hits 1,750, my Ethereum will sell immediately at the best available price from the order book. If everything checks out the way that you intended, you tap on sell ETH. Now we've placed that stop loss. If we come down here to our orders, here's where we can see that order. And this will stay here until it either gets hit or we manually cancel it. So if we want to cancel this, we come down to our orders here and tap cancel next to the order you wish to cancel, just like this. And as you can see, I removed that stop loss. It's as easy as that. And there you have it, your introduction to trading on the Bybit spot market using the mobile app. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also feel free to check out my other Bybit tutorials, which I put together for you in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.